Yep. And yep. Y'all know what it is, man. It is Story Time Tuesday. Um, if you read the title, I know what you're thinking. How the hell does one almost go to jail at a Jagged Edge concert? Well, let's get right to the shenanigans. So, uh, Young E was probably, I don't know, 16-ish, something like that. So, somehow I find my way to this concert. Jagged Edge, Avant, Ludacris, Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Now, you know, I don't have an older brother, so the closest thing I have is some of my older cousins. So, my cousin Sheldon, who would now be just referred to as Blake, um, and, and my cousin Tasha, and I don't know who all else, but it was a small group of us that got to go to this concert. Now, me, you know what I'm saying, like I said, didn't have an older brother, so I raided his closet, and I grabbed the shiniest shirt he could find, because I just knew I was fly. You know what I'm talking about? So, I was in that thing, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know if I ever returned that shirt, because I don't even know. But anyway, we get to the concert, we have the multi-purpose set, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, expecting to have a good time, you know what I mean? Uh, we, we just in there, a good group of people in that thing, and before you know it, uh, uh, the show starts, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, my man DJ Controller, uh, shout out to DJ Controller, you know what I'm saying? Uh, wherever you are, you know what I mean? Uh, you've done a lot for the scene in the early 2000s, we always appreciate you for it. I don't know where you are, but I hope all is well. But uh, DJ Controller came out there hosting the thing, you know what I'm saying? You know, who, who's ready for a final, who's ready for Jacket Edge, you know, so, so and so. But before then, we had a lot of good, you know, uh, opening acts that was coming through doing their thing. So, uh, big shout out to the local boys, you know what I'm saying? Uh, rest in peace to Big Yank. He was, uh, they was all, you know, doing their thing at that show. They came out, did their thing, lit it up. Uh, Cheeky Boys, you know what I'm saying? Uh, much love to y'all. Y'all came out, did y'all thing, lit it up. A uh, group out of Bassfield came, you know what I'm saying? They came and did their thing. So the energy was good, everybody was cool, you know what I mean? Setting the stage up. So then, um, after a while, uh, Controller came back out, talking to the crowd a little bit, entertaining us, and then was like, yo, uh, you know, Avant, Jagged Edge, and Luda, you know, everybody's in the back. We're gonna see what's going on. So the next time I come back out, you know what I'm saying? It'll be with whatever group he named. I'm like, all right, cool, 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 cool. So he goes to the back and, and, and some music is playing. Um, Matter of fact, I remember this distinctly because they was playing uh, that old Snoop Dogg album that Death Row put out when Snoop Dogg left. It was like so old and unreleased. There's a there's a song on there. And the first thing Snoop said was like, "Yeah, this for my homies in Mississippi." I was like, "God damn, how old is this?" You feel me? So, and that was and that was back then. This had to be about 2001 ish or whatever. And it was old then. So you know, we 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 vibing. Lights are low. You know, a good bit of people is in there. Um, I'm right here. Blake is kind of over here. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't remember what Tasha was. So, <laughs> um, more music kept playing and nothing is really happening. So it's like a very long intermission. So after a while, you know, we sitting there, we chilling and then uh, some other slow music or something like that comes on. So I'm here, Blake's here. A couple lovely ladies like literally just a foot and a half in front of us, maybe two feet in front of us. And after a while, man, they was just, these were some lovely young ladies, and they was just uh, leaning on the stage. And, Cause we was like right in front of the stage, they just kind of leaning over on the stage. And they got to dancing a little bit, and you know, guys sometimes we talk to each other without saying anything, so Blake looked at me. And you gotta understand, Blake was always trying to hook me up with some gal somewhere. That's just him. <laughs> One of the closest thing I had to an older brother, you know what I'm saying? That's my cousin, I love him. <laughs> so he was like, man, I'm about to jump. And you see this in front of me, I'm about to jump on this. So that's what he did, you know what I'm saying? He just he just started dancing with the girl and she never looked back at him, never looked back at him. So he looked at me like, what you, what you doing? Like, do you see this in front of you? So I'm like, now I'm looking, I know the girl was a little older. I ain't care. Um, So I was like, well, you know, I was at the age where either I'm a little nervous or I'm too ready. I was somewhere in between. So, I don't know, man. I kind of just, I kind of just, I kind of just ease forward. And once old girl, you know, realized she had a dancing partner, man, she just started, she just started, she just started, she just started dancing on me, man. And I'm talking about she was throwing that thing. I was like, boy. So, for you. <laughs> I was like, hey man, I'm about to, I'm about to become a whole man out here. I'm talking about she was going hard. She never looked back at me. Never looked at me. We made no eye contact. I didn't care. Apparently she didn't either. Man, it was on up in that thing. Hey, after a while, she must have really got into it, man, because she was like. And I was like.
I ain't gonna lie for a minute. I forgot we was at a damn concert. I, I was enjoying myself too much. Sometime after that, I don't know if they like just sat down somewhere in their seats or walked away. I don't know what happened. All I know is they never looked at us. They never spoke to us. Nobody cared. One of the greatest moments of my life. So whoever you are, ladies, wherever you are, if y'all remember this, thank you. Um, nobody cared. Whatever. So after a while, more music kept playing, and I'm just like, "Hey man, what's up? What's going on? Cause we don't we done seen the local acts who most of them I knew personally, and then on top of that, it's like I ain't seen Ludacris, I ain't seen uh, Jagged Edge, I ain't seen Avant, nothing." So we sitting here getting a little restless, right? The host was like, you know, next time I come out, I'm, you know, I'm bringing Jagged Edge or whoever he said. So before you know it, lights start coming back on. And I'm like, I ain't been to too many concerts, but when lights come back on, ain't that when it's time to leave? And you gotta understand something. I spent my mama last $25 to get up in this thing. I got on my cousin's shirt, I can't drive yet. I'm just out here to have a good time. I done danced with somebody who didn't even care to know my name or who I was. Nobody cared. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, hell no. So, man, listen. When we realized that we wasn't getting the concert and that it was over with, we caused the whole, mm -mm. Mm -mm. we ain't caused it. Mm -mm. It was about to be a ride up in that thing. Let me tell you something. All I know is all hell broke loose, people was mad, cussing, chairs was throwing, and you gotta understand, these chairs were connected. So when you threw one chair, you threw about six of them summer guns. Like, it was crazy. I looked down, Tasha just going down through roads. Chairs, just boom, chairs and chairs. And I'm up here, I'm mad, I'm throwing a chair, bam, bam. Like, this is a bull. Now, security came out of everywhere. I don't know if there was real cops. I don't know if there was just security people. I don't know what happened. All I know is one of them came to me and was like, hey, you throw another chair and... Is that a challenge? You throw another chair at me. Woof. I'm talking about I probably threw, I don't know, three or four of them at the same time. After I was ready to hold smash. I was just mad. I don't know. All I know is I walked off. Now, at the time, I'm about five foot 11, 150 pounds, maybe. Man, somebody grabbed my hood, slung me down in them seats so hard. I had a, I had a security guard here. I had a security guard here. I had one back here. I had one back here. I feel like I'm about to do the Macarena up in this mother. So, <laughs> and they were shining all in my face. You want to go to jail? And you want to go? I'm like, man, come on. Hold up. They was, you want to go to jail? You want to go to jail tonight? And I'm just like, man, I was just so, I'm so angry. <laughs> man, I was so angry, man. It was just, it was just crazy. Some random lady came up and was trying to like take responsibility for me. I don't know who she was, but she didn't want to see me go to jail. You know, this young gentleman dressed in the shiny shirt his cousin owns and ready to, ready to, ready to just have a good time. She didn't want to see that little guy go to jail. And she was like, look, don't worry about it. I got him. I got him. I'll take him. So, ma'am, I don't know who you are, but thank you so much. Uh, you know, I think you might have helped calm them down a little bit because I ain't know what could happen. And there was another dude who had like a, he had a little camcorder or something. And I was like, bro, how you get a camcorder? And it's a concert. You, you the bullet. Anyway, don't matter. Nobody cares. So, um, but he was like, if anything crazy would have happened, he was like, fam, I, I got you. You know what I'm saying? So I had these random people looking out for me, man. There's a bunch of randomness going on. It was a random combination of Ken Folk, me and Tasha and Shelton and whoever else was with us. It was random girls just dancing on me. I, I don't know who y'all, but you know, appreciate it. Random people trying to stop me from going to jail. Random person filming me. Hey, man, the kindness of strangers. What can I say? But, um, you know, we, it, l listen, we was... <laughs> We 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 just showed our behind that night, man. We y'all was not for the players. I don't even remember if we got our money back. I don't know what happened. I'm sure it was a money situation. Cause people said they saw Jacket Edge in Walmart. Like people were there, man. So I don't I don't know what happened. I ain't gonna tell y'all who threw the show and whatever. That was a long time ago. But all I know, it was a crazy night. I was pissed. We left out of there, man. And I remember we went to my cousin's house. We went to Dee Dee's house. Um, uh, <laughs> shout out to my cousin Didi, man. I hope you're watching this. Love you, cuz. But I remember we was chilling over there at Didi them house when they him and Tom, they, they stayed in the trailer a while back. And uh, I think Sheldon got the keys to Tasha's car, and we just kind of drove around Hattiesburg a little bit to kind of 
I guess so I could cool off. That's back when R. Kelly first came out, that uh, TP2 joint. So you gotta understand, I'm mad as hell. I'm mad in the passenger seat. But the soundtrack is, this is my song for real, no doubt. And the DJ making me feel the doubt. Man, look, all I know, that was a crazy night. I, I'm glad I didn't actually go to jail that night, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, we had fun at the end of the night because every time I'm with my family, we do, you know what I'm saying? But that was crazy. I wish the concert would have went like it was supposed to go. But whatever, man. It is what it is, and it was what it was, man. But it's all good. Um, <laughs> that's all I got for y'all today, man. Y'all make sure y'all, uh, hey, stay tuned in, man. If you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see everything uh, as it comes up. Uh, follow me on Facebook, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, my Ecclesi page. Uh, if you would, though, make sure you invite people to like my page. Like, click on the community tab, uh, check out your friends list right there, hit the invite button that comes up by the name. Um, whatever it is, just holla at your boy. Get your people on Facebook, get your people on Instagram. Tell them about Storytime Tuesday, man. We got a lot more coming, bro. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Until next time.